Hey guys, Randy here, digital marketer, AKA the Monetize Your Life guy. And what I wanna show you today is one of those really cool hacks, you know, one of those you know nice time-saving hacks. When you're gonna be doing some stuff in your online space, you might need to have a whole bunch of stuff going because you wanna be uh, getting inspiration from the stuff that you're looking at, stuff that you're reading, and as you're putting together courses, right? So in this particular case, this is not something that's super secret or anything. You may be using these uh, this process already. I just wanted to show you this for those for those folks that aren't doing this already, right? You may need to, let's say for example, you are doing a voiceover and I'll show you, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for this particular course that I have coming up. And before this video, what I had already done was put together, you know, take a picture, you know, took the background out. It was a green screen picture as you can see here. And then I put that right into here. If you want to see that, just let me know in the description field and uh, or in the comments. And then I'll make a video just to show you how to do that. But now I'm getting ready to do the voiceover. I need some information that I'm going to be utilizing within the voiceover or within the actual uh, intro. So I have all the information that I want to have right here. I had already done some pre-work on this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this information to do the actual voiceover. Let's see if we can go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so what we want to do is want to go to more here. If you're in your Camtasia studio uh, and you're using that to do your narration, you can go to voice narration. As you notice, the mic is pretty hot, right? So don't say nothing bad because you got a hot mic. And I got the mic here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that a little bit closer to me. You see how it starts changing there? Now we can start the voiceover. Now we're gonna be using things for this piece of information. Now, again, if you look at this, what this basically is, is two pictures. I took the green screen here. I took myself out of the green screen. I did all this actually in Camtasia. I didn't have to use uh, GIMP or Photoshop. It was really, really cool, right? So we're going to now narrate a little opening for this. Let's see if we can get something going here. Let's see if it works out all right. All right. Hey guys, so glad that you're here and we're going to be doing this next course and we're going to be doing this course just for you. I'm going to be rolling this out. I'm going to probably offer it for free. Well, maybe not free, but you know, free based on the fact that it normally costs a lot of money and because we're going to be doing it online, I'm going to offer it for a little bit of money, right? So it's almost free. So what we're going to be doing is the email marketing course. Now, one of the important reasons behind email is that you can have great conversations with people that you're engaging with. Okay, so let's take a look at this right here. This picture here, this is from, um, I think, the blog Emma. And so let me go ahead and show you some of the paybacks that you get from using this kind of marketing, right? So look at that. For every for every dollar spent, email marketing returns you $40. Now, there's a lot of people that talk about other forms of getting to people, right? SEO, uh, displays, whether you're doing some keyword ads, some banner ads. Email marketing just crushes the game. It is one of the most important reasons why you're going to grow your business, okay? Now, I'm going to be doing this course because when we think about this, we oftentimes leave out the best means by which to get to folks, right? We got to figure out, figure out where they are, and then we have to figure out how we can have conversations with them. Email marketing is going to be one of the best things. Let me show you this one. Let me move this around a little bit, and I'm going to show you how, according to this particular site, That email service provides you with access to cutting edge, edge automations. Now, I love being able to send an email once and then send it seven more times without me having to physically do it. It just allows you so many cool tools that you can use to stay engaged with folks and to convince them to buy your products, right? It's the get to know you, like you, and trust you factor, but they have to see you. Now, here's one other one. I want to show you this one real quick. All right, let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Uh, I want it a little bit bigger than that. Let's try it again. Okay. 
All right. The return on investment. Now, I hear this all the time when I'm talking with clients. It's like, well, what's my return on ad spend or what's my return on investment? All right. So the main reasons email mar why email marketing is so effective is, is for amplifying your brand awareness is that it allows you to engage with your leads directly and consistently. Those are some key factors. We want to make sure that we're engaged directly and consistently. Now, you know that not all the time can you get to your folks through your social media pages, right? Those algorithms don't lie. They actually will not show your stuff to as many people as you think that they should show your stuff to unless you buy an ad. And well, guess what? Who wants to do that? So that's why some of these numbers work so well. They work so well simply because $40 for every dollar that you spend on email marketing, that just says it all. Okay, so hey, listen, I just wanted to show you this really, really quickly, show you what we're going to be doing coming up here. I'm going to show you this again. Let me stop this part. And yep, I'm going to go ahead and save that. That's going to become the part of the narration. All right, but anyway, this is the course. We're going to be bringing this to you really, really soon. Be on the lookout for it. It's going to be super engaging, super interactive, even though it's going to be more than likely online. I still do some, you know, show up type stuff, but right now everybody's concerned, so I can use the virtual world to bring it to you. All right. Hey, guys, I just wanted to bring that to you really, really quickly, show you how you can get very, very productive as you're building out what you're trying to build out using the cascading window approach. Oh, I probably forgot to tell you how to do this, right? So if you open up a whole bunch of good stuff, open up a whole bunch of these, now you go and just right click on the bottom. It will show you cascade your windows, show your window stack, show your window side by side. That's how you get to this feature. Now I'm using uh, 2010. So if you don't have 2010, it might be some other process, but this is a really, really cool way to have a whole bunch of stuff going and be uh, inspired by it to get your narratives right. And so you can now go out there and show people and tell people and narrate over your stuff the way you need to. All right. Hey, I hope this has helped a little bit. I'm going to go for now, but you will see me in some of the upcoming videos. See you later.